This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The Bahamas with its first medal opportunity today at the IAAF World Championships in London. For the latest, we swing it across the Atlantic to our Charles Fisher. Stephen Gardner did what he wanted to do when he stepped foot in London, England, and that was to get on the medal stand. Well, the medal will be handed out tomorrow, and it's a silver in a time of 44.41 seconds. Well, this, the heats, my heats was pretty good, but my semis felt easier than my heat. But the uh, final, you know, it got out decent, ran a nice back stretch, but coming home to the 150, just didn't know I had it in me, but I had to fight for it, and... I got this over, and I'm thankful to God, my coach, my family, my friends for supporting me so much, and I appreciate the silver medal. What would you like to say to the Bahamian kids back home, especially those in Moors Island and Stephen? Oh, I'd like to thank everybody for supporting me. Um, it's, it's been awesome, all the support I had during the World Championships, and it all paid off. And I'd like to let them know that no matter what anybody say, you just focus on yourself, stay in your own lane, and do what you have to do. On behalf of my cameraman Robert Johnson and the entire Bohemian contingent that's celebrating tonight, I'm Charles Fisher, live to you from London, England. John Quell Jones and the Connecticut Sun back on the WNBA hardwood over the weekend, taking on the Phoenix Mercury. This one went down to the wire with the Sun pulling it out 93-92. Jones had 19 points and 13 rebounds in the win. The Sun back on the court again tonight at home against the Seattle Storm. From the minor league baseball diamond yesterday, Lucius Fox won for two, two walks, and three runs scored. Charlotte shut out Jupiter 5-0. As for Anthony Seymour, he was 0 for 3 with a walk and a stolen base. Florida fell to St. Lucie. 4-3. Back here at home, the Black Point class Sierra got a wrapping up yesterday. Julian Gibson has a recap. Benson Weedy K struggled in the second race. Legal weapon came very close, but not close enough to beat Witty K. Stefan knows he made the necessary adjustments for the third and final C class race so that it wouldn't even be close. He had some good racing today. The breeze was a little stiffer and very, uh, very uh, fluctuating. So it was challenging out there today. We almost went to the bottom a few times. We were overrigged that first race, so much sail. So I actually put on a smaller sail so we could sail more comfortable. And I didn't have to win that race. If I did get fifth, I would have still won overall, so it wasn't that important to win. But I still win anyhow. Eh? I thought one or two of them might have beat me, but I got to get some more speed. Now for the champion, winning regardless is something that the VDK is all about. And it's all about teamwork. You know, always come into regatta, you know, expecting to win, right? You know, you don't come into regatta expecting to lose. and. You know, we've, we've been in competition with the boats that are here for quite a long time, right? It took us a few years to get to know this harbor, but now, we, I mean, we're a well-oiled machine, so we went out there and did what we had to do. We didn't give them a chance, you know, we just come in and do what we do, and, you know, we're the key. That's, we're always on top, and we plan to keep it that way. I feel like any other regatta. <laughs> we haven't lost, well, we lost one this year at the we won, so hopefully... That's the best the same way. They even bought a new boat out for us, you know, bought back a relic to slaughter and, and we slaughtered her. VDK, 27 points, first place, crazy partner, 20 points, legal weapon, third place, 18 points, smashy, fourth place, 16 points, slaughter, fifth place, 15 points, H2O, sixth place, 13 points, Lady Eunice also had 13 points for a seventh place finish, King and Knights, came in 8th with 10 points, and Chaser only 2 points for ninth place, which was the last place. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. The Cat Island Regatta also taking place over the Emancipation Holiday Weekend, and it was a great moneymaker for the island. Regattas have a, a great value because of the fact that there are a lot of people who want to come back home who have connections, and also persons who are looking for some social activities. Coming to islands like this especially is good because you don't have a commercial center. Cat Island is typically just small settlements, convenience stores and you know, shops. So most of the people here have a chance to become vendors and to sell their food, to sell their goods and to really promote their island. And so, especially now with this being emancipation holiday, it's just a few weeks before the start of school. And so it's a great time for them to, you know, to, to earn a, 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 a substantial amount of money. And that'll do it for sports.
stay tuned, check on weather still to come.